Welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try the Gilmore Girls theme on the ook. Wish me luck. G. And so cool. All you gotta do is call me. There you go. All right, a lot of chords. All right, this one was a little difficult. Uh, let's go over our chords. You're going to need a G chord. Third string, second fret, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. That's your G chord. You're going to need a C chord, first string, third fret. You're going to need an E minor, second string, uh, no, first string, second fret, second string, third fret, third string, fourth fret. That's my E minor. Uh, a minor is 4th string 2nd fret. Uh, you're going to need a D7 and it comes from the A minor, so just leave that finger down, 4th string 2nd fret, add the 2nd string 2nd fret. That's a D7 chord, okay? Then I need an F add 9. Um, the piano plays an F slash G, the oop doesn't have those low strings, so I did the best I could. Um, second string first fret. I do a lot of Christmas songs where they do that chord too, Elton John and stuff, and so I just do it like this. Second string first fret. It's, uh, you got the G underneath, it's a high note, but it still gives you the flavor of the chord, so close enough. Then you need an F chord, which is also the second string first fret, the fourth string second fret. That's my F. C7 is the first string first fret. And then the really the only hard chord you got is a D minor seven. The way I'm doing it is second string, first fret, fourth string, third string, second fret, and I add my pinky on the first string, third fret. That's my D minor seven. Okay? So those are all the chords you'll need. You might have to keep going back to that to figure some of them out. Okay, uh, we're going to start on a G chord, and our strum pattern is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. And I will let you know when it changes, because it does change um, quite a bit in the song, okay? But for the first, uh, for the beginning part, that's all you do is down, down, up, up, down, up. Um, again, we don't have those bass notes underneath, so we're doing the best we can with this little oop to make it sound like a piano, okay? Um, this is based on the Carol King, Carol King song, uh, where, where You Lead, I Will Follow There. Um, I didn't do the whole song. Uh, this is a request, so I did just the Gilmore Girls theme, okay? So it's just what you hear in the show, okay? Uh, you got G to a C, then back to G, back to C, another G, now to an E minor. Now at this point in the song, we're going to go to an A minor, but we're going to change our strum pattern to a short strum. It's just down, down, up. Then the D7's down, down, up for that one measure. That's what you do. Then you're going to go to the F add 9, go back to your longer strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? Now we're in trouble. Now we got a C chord. We're going to do the short strum. Down, down, up. We're going to go right to an F chord and go down, up, down. So this is the hardest measure in the song where you're going to go. And then you go back to a C for an up. So this measure... You're going to have to practice this by itself, at least I did. you got a C chord where you're going to go down, down, up, F chord, down, up, down, and then C, up. So it sounds like this fast. So then you stay on a C chord for a full pattern, then another F chord for a full pattern, C for a full pattern. Now you're going to stay on the C, but do a short strum. So down, down, up, then G for down, down, up, A minor, same thing. And then C7, same thing. And at this point in the song, we're going to go to uh, just a down strum on each chord. So it's an F, C, D minor 7. I'm going to do this little thing where I lift up and do the open fourth string and then go back to my D minor and hit it again. And so let's pause right there. 
So this measure where we're just doing the one strums, it's So what I did there was I hit an F, C, then D minor 7, open 4th string, and so I only lift up that one finger and I put it right back down. That way I still got the chord and I hit the chord again. Okay? Don't worry, we'll go over this a second time. <laughs> F add 9 next, so I just lift everybody up except for the 2nd string 1st fret and I do this. So this is a different strum too. I'm going to go down, down, open 4th string, down, down. Okay. Um, now from this point on, everything, the rest of the song, you, you actually know how to play. So it's a C chord again, short strum, back to the F for the down, up, down, and then the up on the C, then a full measure of C to a full measure of F, and then C again. Now a short strum on C, G, A minor, C7, and then the one strum on F, C, D minor 7, open 4, D minor 7, and then C at the end. If you listen to it carefully, you will hear it fading out and Carole King's still playing. So they just sampled her song, basically. Um, so she didn't, uh, she doesn't end like that in, in, the, in the show, but the, we're going to end. <laughs> okay. So, uh, that was in detail. Let me, uh, let me try and play it now and see what happens to you. So you got a G chord, if you're out on the C chord, and you're feeling lonely, G chord back to C. All you got to do is a G chord, call her name E minor, and she'll A minor, D7, F add 9, C, F, C, to the F, to a C chord. C short strum, G, A minor, C7, F, C, D minor 7 open, D minor 7, F add 9, and then C, F, C, to the F, then the C, then the short strum, C, G, A minor, C7, then the one strum, F, C, D minor open, D minor 7, C, okay. <laughs> So, hopefully that's good enough, I don't know, you know, um, I could play it through again without yakking. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. Play more Ook. <laughs>